what's going on guys welcome back to this video today we're doing the most recent room released in tryhackme.com the room name is eviction and it is about a practical scenario to practice your skills learning the mitre framework so if you remember guys we have covered the mitre framework before in these two videos you can find them in my channel attack and defense strategies with mitre framework and this one is about the mitre framework as well which is part of also a try hack me room threat intelligence and modeling check out these two videos if you want an intro to mitre at the ck now if you want to um, do a practical scenario then watch this video we're gonna do this now okay all right so the description Sunny is a silk analyst at eCorp, which manufactures rare earth metals for government and non-government clients. She receives a classified intelligence report that informs her that an APT group specifically named APT28 might be trying to attack organizations similar to eCorp. So it's an advanced persistent threat, uh, actually or actively attacking organizations that might be in the same industry uh, which eCorp belongs to okay so as a SOC analyst or as a threat hunting uh, analyst you might be interested in hunting down this apt group and making sure that whatever techniques and tactics they used uh, cannot be actually implemented or applied against your organization. So to act on this intelligence, she must use the MITRE at the NCK framework. Okay. So you want to learn what are the tactics and techniques used by this APT group, because we want to be prepared if this or should this uh, APT group attack the organization or attack a corp, a corp will be prepared to this attack. So she might she must use the MITRE Entity SDK navigator to identify the TTPs, tactics, techniques, and procedures used by the APT group to ensure it hasn't already intruded into the network and to stop it if it has. So as you know guys, advanced persistent threats are very sophisticated attacks that if infiltrated a network or an organization it's going to be very hard to find out. So to find out, we need to actually look at the tactics and techniques. Okay. Because if you are not sure if the APT has attacked organization, okay, we cannot just employ the resources to activate an instant response. So an instant response is activated when there is a report or there is an alert, but if there is no alert or if there is no report and you have heard about this group or this attack as a threat hunting analyst you will have to assume that the apt infiltrated the network and use the framework here to find out if it already has or to stop it from uh, getting access to the network all right so the first way to solve this challenge is to click on the provided link it will open the navigator now thing is this navigator you might not be given this navigator right away as a threat hunting analyst so an alternative way to get access to such diagram is to use uh, it's directly to go to my ncak the official site and from here we're gonna use the search button apt28 click on groups and here on the left side you can click on the apt28 and here we can read more information about this apt group so apt28 is a threat group that has been attributed to russia's general staff main intelligence directorate 85 main special main special service center apt28 reportedly compromised the hillary clinton campaign so it is kind of politically oriented APT group that targets political campaigns. All right, so what we need to do here, we need to scroll down to the techniques used. You can right click here or uh, yeah, left click actually, and I click on view. This will open the same navigator 
that you saw earlier here okay let's go back now and now let's scroll down and answer the questions what is a technique used by the APT to both perform recon and gain initial access as you can see guys here we have the tactics reconnaissance resource development initial access the tactics are categorized according to the cyber kill chain that starts with the first phase uh, when a hacker decides to infiltrate the network and ends with the last phase which is the impact so with each phase or with each tactic we have the techniques highlighted indicating that these techniques used by the APT28 so the question here is what is the technique name okay to perform both recon and gain initial access so we have recon here and we have initial access here we have to find the common denominator as a technique so the technique here is speed phishing link and it's also found in initial access here so it's the common uh, technique between these two phases so it's spear phishing link so it's attackers use spear phishing link or phishing campaigns to recon and to get access to user accounts Sunny identified that ABT might have moved forward from the recon phase so they have identified the accounts the email accounts of the organization so they move forward from the recon phase after identifying the accounts which accounts might the APT compromise while developing resources so it's very clear guys without getting back to the navigator spear phishing is used against email accounts so it's email accounts or you can go back and highlight the resource development tactic and for me we can find the sort of accounts that are targeted in the recon phase so it's email accounts ecorp has found that apt might have gained initial access using social engineering so it's expected that if an attacker uses phishing campaigns okay to harvest user credentials it will be social engineering uh, the, i mean it's the social engineering as a main technique or a main tactic that the attacker used to gain access to make the user execute code for the threat actor so Sunny wants to identify if the APT was also successful in execution what two techniques of user execution should Sunny look out for so assuming that the attacker has successfully tricked users into clicking on the spear phishing links okay delivered to their email accounts if we assume that this was successful then the attackers now moved from the resource development and reconnaissance into initial access and execution right now they are executing malicious code on the user's machines so what two techniques of user execution should Sunny look out for so we are in the execution phase now and you can see we have two techniques used the malicious file and malicious links link both methods can be used to execute code if the above technique was successful, which scripting interpreters should Sunny search for to identify successful execution? So if the attackers were successful in tricking users into opening a file or clicking on a malicious link, the attacker will have access to the user's machines and therefore that access would be either command shell access or PowerShell access. So it's PowerShell and Windows command shell that we should be searching for as an artifact. While looking at the scripting interpreters identified in question four, Sunny found some obfuscated scripts okay, that changed the registry. So Sunny was investigating for traces of command shell and PowerShell commands executed on the user's machines. She found obfuscated scripts. These scripts changed the registry. So to find out what the register keys, sometimes we cannot just dig deep and uh, perform forensics on the machine. And we can extract the register keys right from the MITRE framework. Assuming these changes are for maintaining persistence, 
which registry keys should Sunny observe to track these changes? So now we are at the persistence. Attackers now are trying to maintain their access by executing commands and scripts. So APT28 was spotted using scripts, obfuscated scripts to maintain their access. These scripts were, were spotted to change registry keys. Okay, so registry run keys was the answer. Sunny identified that the APT executes system binaries to evade defenses. Which system binaries execution should Sunny scrutinize for proxy execution? Okay, so here we, we want to look for the built-in binaries okay, that attackers use to evade detection. We call it living of the land. The living of the land is a concept of routine engagements where you as a red teamer or the attacker can use system binaries, built-in system executables to create malicious actions or to evade detections. So here we can go to the, we are into persistence. We're gonna go to defense evasion and see what kind of system binaries the attackers could use to evade detection. We can see we have um, find deletion, hidden window, hidden directories. Okay, scrolling way down, you can see we have run DLL32. So run DLL32 is a system binary that can be used for defense evasion. So this is the answer. Sunny also identified TCB dump on one of the compromised hosts, assuming this was placed there by the threat actor, which technique might the APT be using here for discovery? So the attacker, assuming they have compromised the user's machine, they might be uh, conducting network sniffing to identify other hosts, other IP addresses that the, this machine that have compromised would communicate with. So this is a discovery tactic. So we go to discovery and we see here in the discovery we have network sniffing is the answer. It looks like the APT achieved lateral movement by exploiting remote services. Which remote services should Sunny observe to identify APT activity traces? So lateral movement is when an attacker moves between different machines on the organization network. They might achieve that by exploiting services commonly used across the machines. So it's SMB Windows Admin Shares. And the last three questions. It looked like the primary goal of the APT was to steal intellectual property from the eCorps information repositories. So here it is the actions on objective stage in the cyber kill chain. The attackers finally get the chance to uh, retrieve and download the sensitive information that they were after. Which information repository can be likely target of the APT? They would do so by targeting the storage servers on the organization. SharePoint can be used as storage server, but here if we go to the exfiltration phase, we can highlight uh, collection, we can see SharePoint, which is the answer. Although the APT had collected the data, it couldn't connect to the C24 data exfiltration. Attackers were having difficulties to communicate with the C2 um, server due to maybe firewall rules or connection problems. To thwart any attempts to do that, what types of proxy might the APT use? So here in the exfiltration phase, we can find the answer. It's exfiltration over asymmetric encrypted non-C2 protocol. And lastly, there is no answer needed. So that was it guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the challenge and I'm gonna definitely see you later.